right now. Developing in Clay County, deputies are still on the scene investigating several car burglaries and a shooting at Doctors Inlet Reserve. Neighbors say a group of five people going from driveway to driveway, checking for unlocked cars and stealing what they could find inside. At one point, a neighbor who confronted the thieves was shot, and we're told that person is in stable condition. News for Jack's reporter Maggie Lorenz is live. Maggie, police were checking people trying to leave the neighborhood as well. Right, Janice, anyone who was trying to exit this neighborhood earlier this afternoon was stopped by sheriff's deputies who say they were basically looking to see if anyone had information or could provide them with a statement. The sheriff's office has stopped looking into the cars, but you can see that there are still patrol units stationed here on the side of Sleepy Hollow Road. Earlier today, we talked with one family who says their vehicles were targeted. <laughs> no, it is not a way I just want to move into a house. A family who moved in a few days ago to their house in Doctors Inlet Reserve says two of their cars were hit. My grandparents' truck from out of state and then my parents' Explorer. Uh, our other third, uh, my parents' second car was not broken to. It was the only one that was locked and it was the only one with something valuable in it. <laughs> one of the teenage daughters who did not want to be named tells us shots were fired early this morning. I slept through gunshots and my younger sister heard gunshots at about four this morning. Another neighbor says he also heard a loud noise around the same time. I thought maybe it was a firecracker or it could have been anything. I mean, it could have been a bang, but I'm not sure if it had anything to do with it, but I did hear a loud pop at about 4 or 5 a.m. People who live in the reserve say one resident caught a thief in the act and started chasing him, but the thief came back and shot the man. We were there as deputies later canvassed the area and dusted for fingerprints. Right now, there are no arrests or suspects named. When we first got here, there were two or three canine patrol units that were walking up and down the side of Sleepy Hollow Road here. We haven't seen them in a while, but there are still deputies stationed on the side of the road. When we rolled down our window, um, driving by one of those units, a patrol officer said that they were collecting evidence, but that's really all he could tell us. When we get more information, you'll get it on the air and on newsforjax.com. Reporting live, Macula Ranch Channel 4, the local station.